Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 25 iPad tips and tricks that every iPad user should know and of course use them on their iPad because these will make your life easier and help you perform a lot of tasks easier and faster on your iPad running iPadOS 13. The first trick I'm about to show you guys is very useful. This can be used from Safari to the Files app or to the Notes app. So let's say we're on Safari here and we're browsing for an image. So here's an image that I've found that I need. So what I can do here is bring up the dock and open the Notes or the Files app to the side here as a card. So I have them already open. So let's just move them on the other side. So what if I want to save that picture into the Files app? I don't have to go through the, all the buttons and save that. All I have to do is just tap and hold on that picture picture and I can drag it and bring it right here and just release it and then that will be safe. So I just put it on this folder right here. So if I want to, of course, I can just place it anywhere here on the screen and it will save it on that current folder. Now I can do the same with the notes here. If I have a new note or I'm composing already a note and I need an image for that note, all I have to do is just browse Google for that image and then just tap and hold that and I can just simply drag and drop it onto that new note. On the Files app, there is a very useful feature that allows to open a folder into the split view quickly. So all you have to do is just 3D touch on any folder you want, and then you can go ahead and tap open a new window, and that folder will be opened on the split view. You will have basically the current folder and the new folder that you have opened both on the split view. Now, while on the split view, you will of course have one side here and one side here. What if you just want to switch places? So all you have to do is just take a look at that little grabber right there. You can just take that and just drag like this and you can switch the places of the apps that are opened on the split view. Or even if you have the same app open on the split view and you just want to switch places, you can do that simply by dragging them like this. Now, if you have an app opened on the split view and you want to actually turn it into a card, now cards are a new feature with iPad OS. So all you have to do is just take that same grabber, place your finger right there and just drag it down like this. You can see it becomes like a card, or it takes the form of the card. Right now you can release that and you will have that app from the split view transformed into a card. If you're on Safari and you want to open a new link, but you don't want to open it in the background or in a new tab, you want to actually open that link on the split view or on a card. All you have to do is just tap and hold that link and go ahead and just simply drag it like this. You can place it here to open it on the split view, or you can just go ahead and release it here if you want to open that into a card. You can do the same thing with the Notes app. So if you have a link on the Notes app and you want to open it on the split view, all you have to do is just drag it and open it there. So if you have like a link that you can open like website, it will open it on Safari. But if you have a link like I have here, for example, this one from Reddit, I can drag it here and it will actually open the Reddit app. So if you have a link from, let's say, Instagram or YouTube, it will actually open that app right there, which we'll use to open the link. If you're on the email app composing a new email, but you want to leave that for later, want to continue composing that later, all you have to do is just drag it down here. And as you can see, it will basically become like a tab right there. Whenever you need to continue, just tap right there and you're good to go. Or if you're composing a new email and you want to turn that into a split view, you just tap right there on the, that grabber and you just place it here or here to turn it into a card. So you can turn this basically window for the new email into a card. And if you're on the email app and you want to quickly compose an email or continue composing a draft that you have previously started, all you have to do is just tap and hold the new email button. And once you have done that, it will show you all the dra drafts that you have actually saved. And then you will also have the button right there to start a new message. When you go to the emoji keyboard, did you know that you can tap right here and hold one of the emojis right there and then you can simply drag your finger to quickly move through all the emojis that you have on your iPad. So just like that, quickly move through the emojis. And did you know that 
on the emoji page, basically on the emoji keyboard, you also have the space bar, which also will turn the keyboard of the emojis into a trackpad. So just tap and hold right there and you will turn the basically the emoji keyboard into a trackpad just like you do with a normal keyboard. So if you want to place your emoji anywhere, you can simply move the cursor with the trackpad on the emoji keyboard. When you're on the email app and you have an email which you want to open, but you don't want to open it right here because you're working something else here, you want to open it on the split view, all you have to do is just tap and hold it and just simply drag the email to open it here on the split view or release it here to open it into a card. So as easy as that, you can open another email on the split view or on another card. The same thing can be done with the notes app as well. So if you have a note that you want to open on the split view or on the card, all you got to do is just tap hold it and just drag it here to open, open it on the split view or just drag here to open it on the new card. For some strange reason, Apple doesn't have a weather app on the iPad. I don't know why there is no weather app on the iPad, but you can see the weather on your iPad. Just go to your settings and then go to maps. Once you go to maps, you will have here climate. Go ahead and enable air quality index and weather conditions. Now, what this allows you to do is that when you go to your maps and you're visiting a city, maybe your city here on the maps, you will see the weather conditions right here and the air quality index as well. Now, if you 3D touch here, you will also see the forecast for that location. So you will see the forecast for that day on hourly basis, as you can see right here. When you're browsing through the photos on the photos app, you're on an album and you just want to take a quick look at a picture, something you don't have to actually open that picture. All you have to do is just zoom in like this and zoom out and you're, con get, you're good to go. You can continue basically browsing the pictures, just zoom in like this and you will basically be able to zoom in on any picture you want as easy as that. And also, if you just want to place a few pictures from the camera roll to an album or move them through albums, all you have to do is just, of course, go ahead and select which ones you want. And then you can use 3D Touch to basically go ahead and move them to any other album. So from here, all you have to do is just go ahead and go back here. And then you will be able to basically place them on any other album that you want simply by dragging and dropping them. When you go to the app store and you go to your account here to the updates, you will see a list of the apps that you have to update and those that you have already updated. What if you want to take a look at the size of those apps and the version of those apps? You don't have to go to the app page. You just tap this little more button. And it will show you right here the version as well as the size of that app. Now from here, you will also be able to go to the purchase list. So if you tap right there, you will see a list of the apps that you have purchased. What if you want to hide one of these apps from your account? All you have to do is just swipe like this, tap hide, and it will actually hide that app from your account. On the calendar app on your iPad, if you want to quickly create a new event, you can just basically 3D touch on any of the dates and you will create a new event. Add a name there. And then just tap add right there and you're good to go. Now, if you go to days here and you go to that date, so basically let's just go to that event right there on the 29th, you can see this event is set to all day, but I can just tap and hold on it and I can drag it right here and place it on any hour that I want. So you can see the hours here. I can place this at any hour. So if I place it at 3 p.m., it will be from three to four, but I can also adjust it just simply by tapping on that dot right there. I can simply drag like this and adjust the length of this event. So with iPad OS 13, there's a cool new feature that allows us to merge all the windows into once and of course see all the windows that you have opened of an app. So here on Safari, I have Safari opened here. I also have a card. So I just bring back the dock here and tap on the Safari icon and it will show me all the windows of Safari that I have open. If I wanna merge them all into one, just tap and hold the tabs button right there and just go ahead and tap merge all windows and everything will be here. You can see that card that was open now is a tab within one window. What if I wanna open a tab into the split view, simply tap on it, hold it and just drag it right here and I can open it back on the split view 
or even in a card. So everything you want, a card or a split view can be done. Simply tap, hold on a tab and just go ahead, drag it and you will be able to open it on the split view or as a card. Now, if you want to quickly start selecting text on the notes app or anywhere where is text, all you have to do is just tap and hold on any row that you want. Just basically tap right there and hold your finger at any row that you want and it will quickly select the last word on that row. And then for, of course, from here, you can start selecting any text that you want. On the notes app you will be able to rearrange the notes folders so if you have a few folders of notes you can go ahead and just tap and hold one of them and you can rearrange them just like this now you won't be able to rearrange the icloud the notes and the recently deleted folders but all the other ones can be rearranged if you're searching for something on the spotlight search you will be able to actually preview pretty much anything here if you have a folder you can force touch on it and it will show you where that folder is and then you will have basically different files if you have like a video you can go ahead and actually play that video right here everything can be actually previewed from here from this spotlight search. So of course, links and all that, everything can be previewed using 3D touch. On the keyboard on your iPad, when you wanna type something, so let's say I'm typing here, I need to type a number. Of course, I can use this gesture to type that number or I can tap and hold here, it will show me the other keyboard. But if I wanna just quickly add a number or a symbol, I don't have to let go of the finger. I just drag right here and add that release it and then it will go back to the letters that's very very easy and of course very convenient also you will have a button here if you tap on it it will show you a few actions you can actually undo redo and also paste directly from here so if you want to undo or redo you will have that button on your keyboard on your ipad so that is it for this video guys these are 25 tips and tricks that you should know on your ipad running ipad os 13. thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one